start recording. I might have to cut it short, but we will be able to get a second league in today. <clears throat> Choosing a draw in a mirror match can be perfect and makes sense, assuming you're a control role post sideboard. It's not even a control role, you just have one more card than your opponent. Alright, heater. Yeah, I'll give some. So there's certain the different. I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand does this, this land doesn't actually do anything. Like if it was a black land, I would keep it, but that hand doesn't do anything. Um well, I guess we just go to town. Alright. We're gonna keep we're gonna hold these because we could hit like a like a uh, Whatever it is. Uh, discard spell. Or no, we could hit like a Serum Visions and want to cast them. Or maybe we can play tricks with Death Shadow. I already have a turn one play. And like if we're playing against Burn, then I don't want to do that. Yield until next end step. All right. Water. We're probably playing the Phoenix deck again. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cycle this because we could hit a Gurmag Angler. All right, let's see what our top card is now. If we find a, th we want to find a threat here because we, so that we can go Serum Visions or. Oh, how low do we want to go? <coughs> is it the same guy? No, I, I think that you're I think you're wrong, great player. In a mirror match, your deck cannot take a control role versus the other one because you sideboard the same. I think I'm gonna fetch a basic swamp, cycle street wraith, and then discard spell my opponent. Alright, let's look at their top card now. All right, they're drawing a bolt, which is great. Just great. You gonna bolt me? Put me to five. Gut shot, gut shot, lightning bolt. All right, let's just get rid of this thing. That depends on my decks. Yes, but you don't always have that, you know, like, like, I under, like, I understand what you're saying, and I had very similar, um, what they do with this? They put the card on top, so they drew it. I had similar reservations to what you had, but I, I have seen an uptick in how many games I'm winning. We're just dead to the Stabcaster, right? I've had an uptick to the games that I'm winning because I've been drawing. And I think that you'll find that data supports that. And if you if you both play, if both Death Shadow players know what they're doing, then you're gonna make it out of the first turns, in my opinion. Unless one person has a severely better draw than the other person, and I don't think whether you're on the player or the draw, if you have a superior draw to your opponent, matters. Yeah. All right. Do we have an Inquisition in the graveyard? No, we don't. We just have a thought seize. I guess I want to snap thought seize. If we had a serum visions, I just want to use my mana this turn. We're gonna take this snapcaster mage. Like we're likely super dead here, but yeah, we're just gonna take snapcaster. <clears throat> All 
I think I think I'm in trouble anyways. Did someone say data? Someone say data? The data man himself is here. It's it's skill intensive for about three turns, and then it's awful, in my opinion. All right, looting. Show me your phoenixes. Bolt me. Yeah, you got it. That was a tough draw. That was tough, but that happens sometimes. So we're going to sideboard the same way that we did. I'm glad this deck doesn't play Swiss Spear anymore. Swiss Spear was like a difficult card to deal with, in my opinion. You flip a coin to decide who wins. Oh shoot, I should have drawn. Um uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's not great, but I'm gonna be pretty aggressive in my stubborn denials. I should I should have drawn, but I forgot to. Alright, you are you are sorted, my friend. Yield through this turn. Okay. It's a nice little piece of insurance. If they, they opt here, I'm going to, I'm going to stub it. Or, or Thought Scour. I'm just going to do trade with anything right now. And then I'll stub a Manamorphose. I'm going to be pretty nervous if they just thing in the ice me here. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. This thing is a problem. <clears throat> you have to be 18 or older. Yeah, you can't be a minor and have a sword in this chat. Let's get our discard on. So we might be able to get lucky here and do some surgical in as well. I have a feeling we're going to need to get lucky here. So I'm pretty tempted to just take this lightning axe. Because it deals with my creatures. I mean, this thing in the ice deals with it as well. And then I hope they metamorphose and we get to stub it. The Manamorph, that's also a discard outlet. Oh man, they hit a land. Our whole plan was just completely ruined because our opponent hit a land. <clears throat> you may be best player at judging the blind rolls. You'll be handing out yourself to battle if you can draw every time it's going to be reactive. All right, stub in this. So I know my opponent has Bolt Arc Light Phoenix. So they can just flip this thing whenever they want. A dismember would be Dees right now. What does Thoughtseed do? 
Thoughtseize lets me take a Lightning Bolt. So then I go to seven. They crack me. The problem is I kind of have to take an, I have to kind of take a Phoenix. If I go to thirteen, go to three, play a Shadow, it holds this thing off. Oh god. I can't beat lands or spells. Blah. Blah. There have been two subpar games against this guy. All right, bolt me. You got it. I go to three, play a Death Shadow. <clears throat> well, now we just go to two and play two Death Shadows. And if my opponent rips it, they rip it. Just gonna hope my opponent misses for the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean, I concur what Diva is saying here. I, th I think being yeah, you're right, Harry. Oh, they don't have it. What do they what do they have? I think I'm gonna surgical manamorphose in their upkeep. Or in their Yeah, I think I'm gonna surgical I'm gonna surgical it in their draw step because manamorphose gives them the uh, Metamorphose gives them the out to like redraw and still cast this thing. So I'm gonna just draw a step, hit this Metamorphose, and then we get to, at least we get to see our fate. I could have done it in their upkeep. I could have done the bolt in the, uh, their upkeep. Yeah, that would have also probably been good. I couldn't draw a step the bolt. I probably should have done the bolt. I was just thinking like Manamorphose gives them a redraw and is mana neutral. Yeah, if they cast it, that's cool. Like if they cast it in their uh, in their draw step, they lose the mana. They can't cast Arc Light Phoenix. All right, you got a Serum Visions for the juice, my friend. <sighs> yeah, I was totally cool with them casting it in their draw step. God, I'm so good. Okay. Let's remember, at least we're going to be on the draw in this game. I'm going to submit. And Ben Jones data would support what she's talking about, Holy Diva, or uh, Great Player One, what Holy Diva is talking about. So I think the conversation is moot. Y'all disagree. Um, we have a discard spell into a shadow with, a, with some manipulation. Dude, I only speak the truth. I would agree with that also. But it's something. I really want that stub. We're going to we're going to go slow this game. We have a surgical. That stub is going to be good at some point. They could thought scour me if they want to get cute. 
We're doing this because we just don't want to get thing in the iced. If our opponent has double thing in the ice, I'm going to be sad. They target us themselves. Yeah, I did. It was pretty awesome. I beat Caleb Durward for the fifth match purely because I had a bunch of uh, um because I had a bunch of pyroblasts in my main deck that could blow up the new flying man. I got the surgical a reanimator opponent in game one, and boy weren't they mad. Yep, you got it. I guess that was a little loose because now I can't stub something, but like there's likely nothing that I can stub on this turn anyways. Yes, like y'all have voiced your opinion. I think we good. So we're actually kind of a little susceptible to the Arc Light Phoenix um, just hard mode plan. Okay, so we're going to get Phoenix next turn. What if we thought Scour them and hit a Phoenix? I'm in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> Tail? I think we're dead. Maybe I think I actually had to play Death Shadow there. Yeah, I messed up. I had to surgical get Shadow in play so that I had time to kill them. Hopefully, I draw a removal spell. Oh, that's not. Well, that's. At least that's not coming at me right now. Gosh. <clears throat> So we know three out of their four cards. I'm in a lot of trouble. This is not good. <clears throat> Your stats playing their shadow left 13 lives taller than mine. Wow, are they really doing this? Oh, I guess they have uh, another land. This is a two turn clock anyways. Alright, give me a battle rage. Well, it's a good play from the opponent. Maybe they'll block? Wow. All right, Brown. I'm surprised they didn't block there. Like, if you're, like, by not attacking, you're playing around team or battle range, right? So it's like, wouldn't you block also? I don't know. I don't really get not attacking or blocking, but. But we got beat up. I've done that before too. Use I want to get my shadow to play. This has been a rough morning of magic for the home team.
Yo, if there's anyone in the old Twitch chat here that is like a real capable magic player that wants to be on mine and Delray Canfield's team for the SCG, you should let me know. We're looking for a third. Sounds good. Keep this. It is the second and third. I am gonna play the challenge today. Won't stream it though, because it's a little it's a, like it's kinda hard to stream. I wanna make one of the quarterly championships. And uh, I don't wanna like leave my wife locked in the bedroom all day. I only do that for most of the day. SCG stuff is not in the mid list. I hear you're decent, Austin. I hear you can't win an open though. But you can do but you're decent at invitationals. I do not want to book your flight from Europe. I appreciate, you know, you got to shoot your shot. Through this turn. So we're playing against like old school affinity or are we playing against? All right, so we hit our two lands. So I'm just going to go hit him with a discard spell. That's just what some people were making jokes about, Mr. Collins. All right. Yo, that second ensnaring bridge is going to be kind of tough. They have the lands to cast it. Yeah, they do. We're so cold to that second ensnaring bridge. Oh, man, I'm so good at this game. Dismiss. Um, the way that our hand is, I think I'm just going to go get another thing here. Are you going to be there, Tim? If you're going to be there, Tim, that's gas. Nah, I low-key suck at magic. Dude, I am so good at this game. This is why I've gone 2-4 in four my six matches of stream this morning. All right, so we're going to get a Thick Shadow here, or a Thick Durmag Angler. Maybe we'll draw a land and get a Thick Shadow. Sometimes that's all you got to do. All right, we're definitely getting nasty on this turn. And then we're going to make our Shadow m -m 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 massive next turn. I'm going to leave around this teamer battle rage. I doubt it will be used, but you get scooped up by Dalloway. Wow. Wow. Well, you play Ironworks. Ironworks is the stones. Oh, yeah. This Academy Ruins is going to get me. The Academy's slow, though. We're going to get Chaliced. No, you can't put a Chalice in play. This is the problem with playing whilst streaming. Though, this isn't turned on, so 1-2 to activate it. They need another artifact. 1-2. Sorcerer's Spyglass, you got it. So 1-2-3, put it on top. And they need another artifact or two lands in order to get it. So I think we're going to kill him before this ensnaring bridge kills us. I think so. Yeah, that's a good team. Name's Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Got it. All right, let's check out this last card. Okay, it's an if new rivulet. I think they're dead. Let's they draw. Yeah, they're just dead. 
unless they draw another word of mention, they just don't have a draw because we just tend them then tend them. I guess I could see our visions like eight then 10 doesn't really matter. Whatever, put on the bottom, put on top. They bolt my shadow, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, because they can't they can't put something on top and cast it. So like this Caterun's too slow. Welding jar, that doesn't do it. Both teams played hard. Crack you for 10. He can do it, but he couldn't do it on that turn and play it. Because he has to go upkeep bridge. And then he he can't draw this welding jar. So his bridge is the only card in his hand. He only has two mana because there's metal craft isn't turned on. So he, he didn't have if he if he bridged, he didn't have a draw. Okay. Give me one second, everybody. Uh, the Jace is probably good too. Uh, the Disdainful Stroke might be alright. There's a lot of cards to bring in though, so I don't know. Like, probably, likely all the removal is garbage. The Battle Rage is also probably garbage. Alright, I don't know if all of this is correct or not. I don't even know, like, if someone gave me like a compelling argument for surgical extraction, I could take that as well. But I'm going to try this. Disdainful Stroke just counters were. So do you think Stroke is better than Surgical? I'm going to go with a no, because we can mess with Academy Ruins too. I'm like I'm just YOLOing with the sideboarding here. I'm not I'm not, you know, super versed in the Death Shadow versus Prison Mirror. I wish there was a little black land. I'm gonna keep this hand, but I wish it was black. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Let's cycle this because I wouldn't mind using a discard spell on one. Yield through this turn. Yeah, stroke hits were, which is the only thing that it hits. Water grave. Okay. Oh, we can actually play Shadow and Angler this turn. Beast. <laughs> What's it like to have this black land be there for you? God, it's great. I'm going to play both of my threats because, well, it's probably loose to play um, the Shadow. Let's just play Pure Dead. Like we drew stub, so we might as well take it easy. We can play this shadow next turn.
We can play the shadow next turn, or we can snap stub. I think because we drew the Sierra Vision, we're just going to play shadow because we have K command. We can use our red. Put on the bottom. Put on top. I'll hold my wraith. We might figure out something we want to do with it. Um, we could kill our opponent next turn. <sighs> Which main orb? So our top card's a braid. So can we do seven damage to ourselves? Five. Yes. Bang. All right. Go team. We actually have dead there too, because we were just gone like shock ourselves, rebuy Street Wraith, and cycle Street Wraith. So they're actually, even though like they were basically they were pretty much dead because I surgical the um, bridges, they were actually dead that turn as well. Yeah, but I'm I'm just gonna like I might as well make my because like K Command can be kind of clunky because I'm gonna want to main phase it to attack, and if I don't draw land, then I can't play stub. So if I play stub, I'm still just fighting them. You know, like, it's not that bad there. Kanisher's brain is big. Do we have an hour before the challenge? Hopefully I just, like, smack my opponents. Smack them quickly. Yeah, if we don't if we don't if we don't hold up stuff in denial. Like the way that we lose this is we let permits hit the battlefield. And while it's nice to be able to prevent to kill permits once they hit the battlefield, we might as well just make sure that we can prevent it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, this hand's good. Shall keep. Oh, it starts at 11 a.m. Oh, I'm definitely going to be able to get through this whole league then. Okay. How's it going, Songs from My Goat? <laughs> That's such a funny name. Looking flashback to Cuba. That's some high quality entertainment. They took my fish, yeah, that makes sense. Pass. We'll probably play in like an Abzan deck. Yeah. This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be a toughie. Yield until next end step. So we gotta worry about like Liliana the Veil. We don't want another push. 
Let's get Watery Grave, untap. Hit a swamp, hit a bloodstained mire. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna shock myself since they play Liliana. If I can go bolt, snap bolt. At least our hand sucks, so Liliana's like, you know, not that bad. I spelled your name on purpose. So I can just do. Oh, I didn't even see it. Whoa. Hey yo, are we playing the Shadow Mirror? Our hand's not very good in the mirror. Field of Ruin. You got it. All right. I'm going to hurl. <clears throat> and then the top five great shots of all time are Darlon, 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 Darlon. I know, that I know nothing about rap music. All right, we have to get rid of that. All right, we're probably going to end up snap pushing one of these. Let me draw Death Shadow. Tear Battle Rage Gas. My hand develops so well. Four different colors in Field of Ruin. In this economy, All right, we're going to take a shot here. <coughs> yeah, this is... This mana base is gas. I wonder if, like, a Jund deck splashing Lingering Souls? All right, you got it. You got it, opponent. If my opponent flashes back lingering souls, I'm just going to snap bolt one of them. Get Snapcaster in play. Start doing something. This is very sad, but it is unfortunately the life that we're in. I'll leave the push in my yard to be able to hit like a Tarmogoyf. Alright, I'm not proud of this. Well, now they're just dead if they don't have a removal spell, but I seriously doubt that they don't have a removal. They don't have removal. Yeah, my opponent's probably going to body me. I actually shouldn't have attacked because of the heavy Liana. Yes. This battle rage is going to be threatening. Yeah, I'm super drawn against this guy. Hope everyone's having a good day. Lingering Souls in 2019. Nice. This can't be good. This means my shadow's dead. Should I have six? 
there's no way they make this attack unless my Death Shadow's super dead. Actually, they probably just can't beat it, so maybe they're gonna. I'm just, I'm not gonna play around it. My shadow is getting 100% battle rage this turn. God, if they have field in the field. Alright, my shadow's not getting 100% battle rage. Um, if I go for it and they go to 12, yeah, whatever. I have another one. You got it? Okay. Maybe that was loose. <clears throat> that might have been loose. I don't know. Because, like, I guess they were dead to my fetch land because they would have gone to one. So maybe they can, like, all right, whatever, I'll attack. No. I call bluffs. What do we got? We got a Siege Rhino? Yeah, dude. This guy probably got lost to a Shadow deck and, like, really bad, and he just was like, it's not never again. Just please play in Flashback Lingering Souls. I'm going to hit a Snapcaster Mage like a professional. Kalidus. Gonna bolt my Snapcaster. Can I even attack with Snapcaster? Cause I can go to eleven, gain three, they go to one. Oh nice. Battle Rage. No. Alright, we'll play out one more. Because like if they have nothing and we do hit. Battle Rage, we're still going to win. Yeah, this is... Alright, all right, I yield. I yield. God, we are getting smacked around today. Alright. I don't really like... Like, Veil is going to have its spots where it's like, but... Where it's decent, but Veil's a maybe. If I'm going to draw, I like Veil even less. I just want every card in my deck that does something. So get this out of here. Engineer, these are like the maybes. These are definitely coming in. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to have space for these. <laughs> I don't really like cutting discard. Lava Mancer is good against Lingering Souls, but it's not good against that much else. So maybe it's just better to have like Lightning Bolt in and not Grim Lava Mancer. I could also shave on some stubs, but I do like stub against Lingering Souls. Because they just tap out a lot, so even if it's soft, it's still pretty good. <clears throat> EE is just good against Lingering Souls, though. Like, it's so slow and clunky everywhere else. But we're just going to get browned by Lingering Souls anyways, right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I 
I mean, we say Lily the Lasso is needed when we see the only deck in the format that plays Lingering Souls. <clears throat> Snap keep. In 2019? I shall keep. My hand is very, my hand's pretty good. Okay, bye, Jace. Yeah, the people that are smarter than me say it's good, so I'm giving it a whirl. I, I ordered a Snapcaster Mage just in case I like Snap better. You gotta take Chase, right? If I'm playing another Jace, I kind of want more Last Hope slash Colorons commands, though. Even though I just thoroughly, I do not like Last Hope. In the format at the moment. Oh my god. Such gas. Alright, let's get rid of a discard spell. We're going to lose our Snapcaster Mage, but there's a chance that we get to snipe. There's Faith is looting in this pile too. Holy shnikes. And Jace is just, so this deck played a fourth Snapcaster Mage, and it does the same thing. Oh, nice. So they're going to take my stub. Nice. Blood Crypt, Inquisition of Kozilek, get rid of this discard spell, Protect Me a Snapcaster Mage, what do we hit, what do we have in our graveyard for goodies? We don't really have a lot that I'm super excited about flashing back. I, mean, I could go Snap Inquisition on this Faithless Looting, because their hand probably doesn't do anything if I get rid of this looting. But that's so mopey. I'm just going to pass and then snap Thought Scour or snap Stub. <clears throat> yeah, I think I, if, if these weren't lands, Harrison, I'd be much more about that. But we just don't have anything going on. All right, well, that's at least a spell. God, this is great. All right, I guess I'm going to play my land out here. <clears throat> I've tried. It's not going well. This little snapcaster is gonna it's gonna it's gonna do it for us. Yeah, you can, you can. that thing's so weak. Alright. There's just a whole lot of stuff I can't beat here. Number one of it is Liliana Veil. Vale. Look at all our mana, be jealous. We're we gonna get souls or we're we gonna get K commanded here. Okay. God, dude, I love when my stuff's right on time.
Yeah, you will trade that spirit for my Snapcaster. I'm going to stub anything that I get the chance to stub here. <coughs> I'm actually going to fetch here because, like, if I draw a Street Wraith, I'm going to want to cast it. And I don't want to take a million damage to do it, so I can get, like, basic swamp off of this. Oh man, are we gonna get to stub this K command? Stubbing K commands is one of my favorite pastimes. Remember, kids. You gonna get that hot upkeep action? Get out of my face. Yes. Say hello to my little friend. I just said that and Phil looked at me and be like, hey, Dad. We know loot, scoot, and booty. What are we doing? God, please draw, draw a Liliana Veil. That's, that's, that's not good either. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to fetch a tap land. So our second to last fetchable land in the deck. We have a swamp left. <coughs> I'm going to put this dismember on top with the ability to have shuffled it away. Because we might need to kill something here. Dude, I'm not going to get savagely beat down, and that's my opponent for his list. I have more pride than that. I can't take that kind of hit to my self esteem, Harrison. It's all right. We're going to get it out of our system. And we'll be good. Yeah, dude. I have no idea what my opponent's trying to do here. Like, the, like, like, oh. I guess they just took Jund and tried to not make it bad, but I still don't know how good that is. Don't know how bad that deck that beat you was. No, we're, you know, we got a, we got a chance. If our opponent gets cute, we could win. Or if they just miss for the rest of the game, we also could win. They're paying costs. Nice. If they just attack with one, I don't I don't think we can keep this dismember. Like I'm basically only keeping this dismember if it kills them. Yeah, I'm going to fetch. Yeah, we can't. We can't keep this dismember.
we are like what we'll do is we'll just play our fetch land and threaten lethal. We're not actually going to go for it. Mama. So now we have to block. Snapcaster's my friend. Okay. And now we're just gonna get in this game of cat and mouse. All right, land for OP. God, that mountain. Dude, the mountain lingering souls. Whoa. That's rude. That is just rude. Not in my house. Okay, dude, this bed of our lower was actually rude. What is my opponent doing? My opponent's like, dude, I am just going to get the pile of all piles. Yeah, my opponent's taking this behind the woodshed. Let us know who daddy is. <clears throat> My pride is hurt. I'm just not a proud man right now. I'm gonna get emotional. Who? Oh, uh, we don't have a dismember. No. Can we see it? We can see our visions. To get out of this, and maybe hit dismember, right? We've got two dismembers in our deck. All right, chat. Do we think our top card is dismember? At this point, it's got to be. Or ee. Well, ee actually does get me out of it as well. So we have two. Hit, we have two hits here. Oh, baby. I am so good at this game. I don't even care. I am just so good at this game. You guys want to, like, you guys just ask me what it's like. All right. Um, God, he's Bedlam Reveler. These lightning bolts have to be garbage. I haven't seen a Dark Confidant yet. It's, it's pretty great. Game's going to go long. We're going to get our Swamp Block on. Dude, I, 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 I'm born on St. Patrick's Day. I have all kinds of one times. All right, we're on the draw. Keep. This hand is loose, but I do not want to mulligan against the Bedlam Reveler deck.
Take my thought scour, dude. I'm gonna hit a land and land this Grim Lava Mancer like a professional here. God, dude, just ask me, please. Traverse, you even have Traverse the Uberwald in this pile? This is like right into Candio's deck. From that open that he played in that one time. God, I. Guys, I'm just, I'm too good. I really don't mean it. Like, to be honest, it just happens. I really haven't practiced a lot. I was just kind of born this way. Um, I don't think so. I think against any deck with Thought Seize, I would much rather be the deck with Snapcaster Mage. Yo, Liliana of the Veil would be annoying. But that card is always annoying. No, no, no. Turn off auto yields. Second Lava Mancer is a little awkward. We're going to just play Snapcaster Mage and Scour. God, this is great. I could have discard spelled the Traverse, but I'm not really about that life. Is that what, is that a what's his mug, what's his face mug? I'm confused. <clears throat> this deck reminds me of a format that's just not real. That's oddly specific, Tanner. How are you this morning? How was the rest of the mandate? Power life. Into forest. Uh, yield until next end step. We're just going to snap thought, snap uh, thought scour. Though this, if this traverse the wild turns into a um, Bedlam Reveler at some point, it's gonna, that's going to feel pretty bad. Push your dude. One, two. I'm just going to hit it. I'm going to get rid of this Inquisition of Kozilek before I get caught with my pants down. Because, like, this thing's just going to turn into a Bedlam Reveler. That's just going to body me. Yeah. <clears throat> Dinner was great. Steak was cooked. It was overcooked by 20 seconds. So it was great. Being free. Nice. Yeah, dude. I hope my opponent turns this goy sideways. Yeah, dude. I feel like the Joker, like in that Batman scene, when he's like, hit me. That's what I feel like right now. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome, Tannen. Do you play any more standard decks that you were a fan of? <clears throat> Taking Shadow. Okay. You got Brutality as Push. He was finally taking out Dota. Yeah, I saw some here. Yeah, dude, I've been I've been putting in a lot of work. All right, we're just playing out everything here. We don't have a lot of red spells, so I'm not gonna worry about the steam vents. Put 
play this, play Shadow. And now it's time for the good old Who Rips. The nice thing is that they're they're a whole like they need a land and a lingering souls in order to get that going on. So they're just a long ways off. I played this junk deck Jim came up with, but it got really close. Maybe the deck I'm most excited over such the obvious ones like Ryan Red. Was the junk just a junk mid-range deck? Actually, I'll check out the VOD later. Oh, we're having technical difficulties. Oh no. Rip my red land. We're having technical difficulties. All right, looks like we're back. Had a little tweak out there, but doing okay. All right, we're just going to pass. We're in a bit of a holding pattern, which is probably better for them, honestly. I would much rather be trying to press the advantage. That's nice. I'm going to fetch on their upkeep. And I will likely Lava Man myself. Because I didn't want them to have like a push and then push my Lava Mancer. Dude, everyone's good at something there, so I'm gonna go. I'm good at I'm good at those plays. <clears throat> okay, so what do they have? The only creature, I have all the creatures, so let's get rid of, I can make the Goy for 3-4. Baby, are we going fishing? So he, he still makes it a 3-4 regardless, but I can trade the Death Shadow for the Raging Ravine and the um, I can trade Death Shadow for Raging Ravine and Tarmogoyf for, for Grim Lava Mancer activation and then get nasty so that's the game plan yeah I appreciate it there I Wolfie I don't think we're doing anything One, I like surgical extraction right now. the The graveyards are more about um, quantity. It's very important. Deal. I could. I don't really want to stub this because I can just sack a Snapcaster Mage and it fuels my Lava Mancer, and I can just Lava Man it down. they gone up, that would have been a little awkward. They probably should have gone up. I didn't think about that. Goyf grows again. 
My opponent is in the abyss unless they have an abrupt K. I should have played my fetch land. So that's all right. They still have to block. It's like this is your mid range deck. Like if your mid range deck gets ground out by Death Shadow, then like your deck's bad. You know. Resolves. We could get damnation here. If we get damnation, I am going to puke. So you have to fetch shock in, to get lingering souls, and then you're dead to my lava man. Rage. All right, block, and then lava man you. I don't really know why I did it this way. Okay. Oh my god, Austin, I was streaming one time, and Austin blew me out with a nature's claim. I just wasn't talking. He nature's claimed my ley line and killed two of my shadows. So I just wasn't paying attention. I'll be right back. Oh, I guess I'm not going to be right back. The challenge is at 10, right? It's just it's at 11. All right, so I have plenty of time. Plenty of time here. This is going to be my last league, though. Uh, this hand's not that good. We're on the draw, so we hit another land. Yeah, that was, I was sad. Um, I'm going to put this on top. It's a little awkward, but the namesake of the deck. Oh, we're playing against Hardened Scales. This deck is tough to beat without Leyline or Anger. Like, this is going to, I'm going to have to do some scrap in here. That is a good draw, though. Yeah, that was, I was, I was like, oh, Nature's Claim, that's good. And then all of a sudden, both my shadows were gone. And I was like, okay. All right. God, please play like an Arcbound Ravager. Animation module. All right, you graft, you can do it. Yield until next end step. All right, I'm going to get a blood crypt and dismember this bad boy. My opponent only has one card in hand, though they do have their animation module ending going on. So we need we if we can get if we get a fetch land here, I think we're good. Okay. Man, I'm so good at this game. We're still probably going to lose because this matchup is pretty atrocious. Dude, please graph my shadow. Come on, buddy. Hook me up. Wow. It's so rude. Does he want to help out another fellow? Oh, there's the Hardy Boy. Blocking Blister. You gonna trade for a shadow? Oh wow. He gets two counters. That's a little risky. So one, two, three, put two counters on it. Uh, 
how does this work? I'm just, I can't attack, right? Because I have to fetch right now. Oh my God. Right, because they just go put a counter on this. Then six, kill this. I guess I can attack with one of these. This all sucks for me, Harrison. Cause he just blocks, regens. But if he does that, he can't put a counter on this unless he hits an artifact. <clears throat> okay. All right. Whoa. So how many points is? I go, this is gonna make this six. Right. Six points. They make a dude. All right, to your battle rage on top of the deck. <clears throat> okay. No, uh, that doesn't even, to your battle rage doesn't do it. Yeah. I need a fatal push right now. Fish ain't gonna do it. No, I messed up there. I didn't even. Yeah, the fatal. That didn't even do it. The battle rage because they trade. That was bad. Okay, so against here, we cut all of the stubs, all of the discard spells, bring in everything that kills anything. And that's how we do it. Yeah, I didn't think about that right. I could cut some Street Wraiths, but if I'm going to bring in Lava Mancer and Gurmag Angler, I need Street Wraiths in order to power my graveyard. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. We have a Snapcaster. We need to find... So we're going to bobble ourselves into... I'm definitely a little rusty. This bob ourselves. Street Wraith is actually one, two, <coughs> three, four. Yeah, we actually need this. The Street Wraith's actually good. Because it's going to let us angler. Give me one second. Sorry, I had a had a phone phone call. Um I just wanna put this on the bottom, but put this on top. I probably actually wanted both of those. 
Yeah, so that I could snap push something. How are we going to make them discard spells and search for it? I don't know. So we have a pretty nice turn next turn where we can push something and then play um, play uh, Lava Man. I'm going to leave the Thought Scour there because I think we're going to want to, if we do have to flashback a cantrip, we want to make sure it feels our graveyard. That hurts. That hurts a lot. That was a good hit. Probably go get Blood Crypt so that we can cast our red spells and Lava Man. All right, so I'm going to attack. Them not blocking is not good for the home team. This is this is a, this is an atrocious matchup. Just like ballista. Gross. One. Yeah, I had to, but then they still just kill me there. Yeah, we're dead. Yep. Yeah, this is this is awful. And the way you beat this deck is with Leyline of the Void out of Gr Grixis Death Shadow. My sideboard is not equipped to beat that deck. That humans and like those in humans are like the two matchups that are just really, really bad. All right, this will be the last match of the day. And then we're going to call it. A full day of getting beat up. Hopefully we can limp out of here with a 5-5. Five five. And that is definitely limping. To say the least. A moto broke. Shall join. <clears throat> I'm going to keep this hand. It's got a little bit of everything. It just needs a threat. Like you've got counter spells, you've got removal, you have discard, you have a couple ways to manipulate, and then a way to go over the top if we find what we're looking for. What we got here. If my opponent, okay, we have a fair thoughtsy strategy, you say. Mm 
Yeah, I, I I usually wake up, so I take the dog out at like six thirty. So I try to stream. Um, try to start up around that time. Let's check out. Well, let's just pass. Plus, I like to warm up here before I play in the challenge. Like I don't like to just go into it cold. I keep my coffee into me, do some thinking. All right, let's take a look. All right, that card's good. What do we draw? We draw a Scalding Tarn. It's a nice draw. Because we can stab a Liliana. I mean, unless we're playing the mirror, which if we're playing the mirror, then this doesn't get stubbed. We are playing the mirror. Wow. Let's get rid of this Gurmag Angler. Our deck is pretty solidly set up in the mirror with the two veils in the board. All right, I'm going to I don't want to I can't not use my man on this turn. So I'm going to trade my the back half of my Snapcaster Mage with a Stubborn Denial. And I assume they let this trade happen. Like the two life doesn't really matter. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna play the challenge today. I'd like to be able to get my uh, quarterly points so I'm qualified. I don't even know how many you need. I just saw the points coming in. My opponent just said, hey, I watch you at YouTube. Big fan. This is the best part about doing this. Just people that are nice. Oh, we're tweaking out again. Front row. Front row. Looks like we're back here. We tweaked out for a second. I don't know if the stream lasted. So my opponent played that. Okay, so that doesn't really do a lot. It's too early for wine, Harrison. Holy shit, my opponent's at 17. They only have two cards. But if they find a Death Shadow, like, we are so screwed. Yes, robes are great. It's never too early for wine. Should hang out with my wife, Harrison. here. 
We got Gerdad. We have Gerdad plus Stub. Every woman does. I'll talk to her about it. Yo, we're super dead. Our hand is garbage. So we draw a Death Shadow like this turn or a Gurmag Angler. We're in pretty good shape. But if we don't, I'm in a lot of trouble. I would be completely disturbed. There's no middle ground. All right, it's time for a Death Shadow or a. Ah, uh, okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna have to get Steam Vents tapped. No, I'm gonna get Steam Vents untapped. We're living life on the edge. Um, I'm just going to bottom both of these. Neither of these are good. And then we're just going to on there upkeep, bobble, bobble them. And just hope we don't die. We know our opponent is a stubborn denial. That's all that we know about their hand. Feels like dad, stop playing magic. Come play with me. Alright, let's post draw a land, which is kind of nice. It's good for the home team. But they can just play TNN and then we're in trouble. I'm gonna block I'm not blocking. We're in the same position next turn if I don't block, and then I can have a chance where I can set up like bolting this, so I'm just not going to block. Put me to one. Give me... Alright, two draws at a big threat. Come on. One. Okay. Snapcast Mage does something. <clears throat> Fortunately, I think we have to go like this because I want to be able to bolt and trade my bolt for the Stubborn Denial. Okay, that works. Am I attacking? They had a removal spell, they would draw it done it last turn, so we're we're getting in there. Put a hurt on the life total. Do we bobble and they're up keep? Yeah, that's why we bobble and they're up keep. What do they do? They bobbled me. Alright, I block. Then I'm gonna EOT bolt them. Bolt this thing. We don't know anything about their hand. Alright, we cleared the board, ladies and gentlemen. Oh baby. Don't bolt me. Okay. We should be good now. We are skating on the edge there. You got it. You have stub. You have stub. I have stub. We all have stub together. All 
Oh, they just scoop it up. Okay. Well, I guess they are in the abyss. Okay. Now, I tend to sideboard a little weird in the shadow mirror because of the presence of Leyline of the Void. I'm going to pretend that there's not Leyline of the Void right now. And we're just going to go like this. If we see a Leyline of the Void, I'm going to cut a Gurmag Angler and bring in a fourth stubborn Nile. We got to remember to draw. We always draw. We're going to keep. Oh, my opponent messed up the first. The first rule of the mirror. To draw, but it's it's counterintuitive, so maybe they just don't know. I'm not gonna cycle my street wraith on turn one if I get the option to. Why is it still snowing here? Snow is great. What do they do with this? They put two cards on the bottom. Looks like somebody needs a land. Yeah, draw draw against the Thoughtseize decks. Um, I'm gonna cycle this because I would if they I don't want them to take this. I can take anything else, but I don't want them to take my free draw. Like the, like the Liliana of the Veil is the most threatening card, but we're also pretty far off. Yeah, I would not draw against fairies. Because if they land a Bitter Blossom, you're dead. Bitter Blossom, you just can't beat Bitter Blossom. That's interesting. Oh, they don't have lands either. I would have taken a Thought Scour if I were them. All right, let's better inform our decision here. I'm actually not going to run out of this Angler because of Dismember, but I am going to discard spell them. So if I play this angler and they miss on land drops, they actually get they have to and they dismember it. We get two looks at um we get two looks at a land to resolve the Liana Veil. Alright, so they get a can they get a shot at a cantrip. I'm like pretty okay if this dies. Okay. Yeah, we take Veil. So now we need to end this game pronto. Alright, that's a nice draw. You lose your resources. I lose my resources. Um, I'm going to take their discard spell. I don't have any red cards left in my deck because I milled over my Colgon's command, so we're just going to water grave it up. Take both the discard. They top deck. Do they have Death Shadow in their hand now? Is it Staticaster? Is pretty dope versus Bitter Blossom. You, that's that's real. You're being you're correct about that. 
Looks like they drew a fish. Okay. That's probably the best draw for us. Now my opponent's pretty good. My opponents just were talking about how, you know, nice playing with you. I was like drawing the mirrors. He's like, but nope, it was good. That was good. Okay, we're going to send you guys over to Jim Davis. Let's pull the deck up here while I get that ready. I hope you all had a fun time watching today. Um, why is this not doing this? Why can't I? I will open the chests. Jim Davis MTG. Let's open. Open this. 